Just like many Amatec blowers, there are two functional sides, the working side and the motor side. The bypass configuration isolates working air from the motor electronics. Motor cooling air is channeled from the outside to cool the motor and electronics, then discharged. It is important to note that the working side of the Windjammer Pro is the same size as the current Windjammer. The mounting, intake, and discharge size and port orientation are all the same. The motor side, however, has grown slightly larger in diameter, roughly 0.35 inches or 9 millimeters. The dual function blower is a very unique bypass model with the addition of slotted holes near the base of the working side of the blower. If the working air intake is blocked, air is channeled in this path, providing a suction feature. If the working air discharge is blocked, air is channeled in this path, providing a positive pressure feature. With the addition of a couple of shutoff valves in the customer system, the dual function port can be used to inflate or deflate. The peripheral configuration is also a bypass model, but instead of air being directed out of the discharge tube, it is sent through slots around the perimeter of the working side of the blower. The through flow configuration channels air from outside through the motor and electronics, then into the working side of the blower. The most important difference is that in this configuration, the working air is slightly heated. This makes it the perfect choice for applications that require heated air such as hand dryers. Also note that because the working air flows across the sensitive components of the motor controller PC board, this may not be a suitable choice for application which contains high humidity or dirt. The Windjammer Pro is currently not available in peripheral or through flow configurations. Blower input voltage is the next option. The blower's final location often determines the input voltage. The options are 110 to 132 volts, 208 to 264 volt, and universal voltage with common performance. Universal voltage with common performance is great for applications that are used globally. This configuration will provide the same pressure and flow performance whether you're in China, Europe, Mexico, or the United States. It enables our customers to purchase one model and use it throughout the world, eliminating any worry about differing performance. The performance of this model has been greatly increased over the standard Windjammer, from around 800 to 1300 input watts. When compared to similar competitive models, the performance is much greater and also features higher efficiency. It is important to note that the performance of the 208 to 264 volt model would be higher than the universal voltage common performance model because the motor is able to be optimized to a smaller input voltage range. Also note that on models except for common performance models, performance will vary depending on the input voltage. That means slightly greater performance at 240 volts than at 230 and so on. The Windjammer Pro features two options for the intake of the working air. The bell mouth option draws air in from atmosphere. The intake tube allows customers to attach a tube to the blower. As a side note, if the intake tube is not connected to an intake hose and left open to atmosphere, the flow performance will be reduced because of intake turbulence. A new option for the Windjammer Pro is the ability to duct motor cooling air. The standard configuration is as shown. Motor cooling air is channeled in and out of fins molded into the motor side of the blower. In a dirty or humid environment, such as printing presses or welding fume evacuation, the customer can duct in cool, dry, inlet motor cooling air. This will keep contamination and moisture away from the sensitive electronics of the motor controller and prolong the life of the blower. In applications that are sensitive to heat, such as an electronics cabinet or process control environments, the motor cooling exhaust air can be ducted out of the system, preventing excessive heat from accumulating in the system. The Windjammer Pro is available in three different flow configurations, standard, high, and ultra high. The performance curves shown depict typical conditions. These are meant to be used as a reference point. Note that each configuration also comes with a larger diameter intake and discharge. 
The Windjammer Pro is available in four different pressure configurations. One, two, three, and four stage. Stages refer to the number of working fans stacked together. The more fans, the higher pressure that is possible. Again, this data is for reference only. Flow performance in combination with the number of stages will dictate the actual performance of the blower. Always refer to the individual blower data sheet for this information. The Windjammer Pro features the same mounting pattern as the current Windjammer, but with more flexibility. It offers a total of five different mounting configurations, a quarter inch through holes, 1032, and a quarter 20 US threads. We also have M5 and M6 metric threads. For blowers operating in adverse conditions, the Windjammer Pro offers some options to increase its longevity. For conditions which have high humidity or contamination, a silicone coating for the motor controller PC board adds a level of protection. The next level of protection that we offer is to replace the steel components, including the shaft and bearings, with stainless steel. This, done in combination with the silicone coating on the PC board, provides our highest level of protection in adverse conditions. The most configurable part of the Windjammer Pro is its ability to offer many options for controlling the motor speed. Five different speed command options are available. In addition to these options, you also have the flexibility to configure how the blower reacts if the speed command signal is lost. The speed command options are as follows. 0 to 10 volt DC, in which the customer supplies a 0 to 10 volt command to the blower, which represents 0 to full speed. The potentiometer option is a mechanical dial which acts as a speed command. PWM, or pulse width modulation, refers to a varying duty cycle signal which represents zero to full speed. The wider the pulse width, the higher the speed command. Four to 20 milliamp, in which the customer supplies a four to 20 milliamp command to the blower, which represents zero to full speed. The final option is for a remote potentiometer. The blower supplies a five volt DC signal, which can connect to a remotely operated speed potentiometer. In the event that the speed command signal is lost, the blower can be configured to react in two ways. Pull up means that in the event that the speed command signal is lost, the blower adjusts to maximum speed. This is particularly important in combustion applications where an air gas mixture is being fed through the blower. If the speed command signal drops out, the blower must continue to push air through the system and not allow gas to build up. Pull down is the exact opposite the blower speed will be adjusted to zero if the speed command is lost. Note that for these speed command options to be activated, the speed command signal must be disconnected. A zero speed command will not cause the blower to pull up. Although there are several options, speed command is typically decided by the customer system. The Windjammer Pro's flexibility enables it as a drop-in replacement without changes to the system. The Windjammer Pro also has the ability to run in two different speed control modes, open or closed loop. In a closed loop system, the speed command signal is correlated to a defined speed. The blower then works to maintain that defined speed. This defined speed is even maintained if the input voltage varies. For example, the blower speed will be maintained even if the input voltage drops from 120 to 110. Open loop mode is the exact opposite. If a speed command of 5 volts DC is sent, it will pulse the stator at 50% duty cycle, regardless of what happens in the system. If the restriction pressure goes up, the blower speed will go up in the opposite if the blower restriction goes down. The actual blower speed will be allowed to drift according to the load. There are a lot of reasons why either open or closed loop control may be needed. It depends on how the system has been designed. The final and most popular modification to the Windjammer Pro is the ability to configure it with custom wiring connectors. The Windjammer Pro has been designed with onboard socketed connectors, which makes the use of adapter cables very easy. The following is a list of wire harness options. Depending on how the blower is used, each harness can be supplied separately. If the customer does not plan to use the status output, the harness does not need to be supplied. The wiring lead length is also configurable. Upon request, customer-specific connectors are also an option.